This is Newswatch 12 at 6. In your Voice Your Vote coverage tonight, today is the Oregon primary and we have team coverage on some of the big races here in our area. Covering Northern California. You're watching Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Are you concerned about how Chico is spending your tax dollars? Today, city leaders are laying out their spending plans for the coming year. We'll tell you about the deficit the city is facing. Right now at 6, the Eastern Conference Finals kicking off tonight in Boston. How the Celtics are preparing to welcome the Pacers for Game 1. And could be a heat wave for several people over the next couple days. Let's talk about the heat index values and why they will be so dangerous. We do not want our kids being victims of these predators. A former Red Sox pitcher tackled and arrested in a child sex crimes sting. We'll tell you about the investigation underway. And a key witness back on the stand in the Karen Reed murder trial. The major testimony expected today. Now, live on WBZ TV and streaming on CBS News Boston, this is WBZ News Mornings. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Six o'clock on your Tuesday, May 21st. I'm Chris Tanaka. I'm Brianna Pitts. We'll get a check of our next weather forecast with Jason Michael. We got the fog out there this morning. Coverage you can count on. This is Way 31 News Mornings. Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. We're so glad you're waking up with us. I'm Way 31 morning meteorologist Grayson Ello. Well, you're in store for quite the forecast today. Not just the hottest day of the week, the hottest day of the year so far. 55 News. Another shooting near Fort Wayne School and police say they're still searching for a suspect as the victim fights for his life in the hospital. We'll share what we know about that investigation. And is a suspect mentally fit to stand trial? It's the question court officials want answered tonight for a man accused of stabbing a Kroger employee to death. Hear the details on that stabbing and a future hearing. And the Fort Wayne City Council has a new representative for the 6th District. Learn about the goals for Rally Booker. Fox 55 News first at 10 starts right now. The area's only primetime local newscast. This is Fox 55 News, first at 10. Two weeks, three shootings, all of those in one area. The latest sending a man to the hospital clinging to life in the next half hour. You're watching Fox 55 News, first at 10, with Brian Miller, Brianna Bias, Chief Meteorologist Beverly Perry, and Sports with Sports Director Justin Prince. The news you need from the area's only primetime local newscast. Police departments across the country are seeing an uptick in officers for the first time in more than four years. It's been kind of a mess here around for everybody lately. Right now at 10, how Asheville's police department is working to bring in more recruits. A local law enforcement training program is abruptly suspended indefinitely. How the decision is impacting trainees tonight. North Carolina lawmakers are pushing forward with their plan to crack down on masked protesters. Any person, for whatever reason, um, should be allowed and have that right and freedom. Why changes made to the bill are causing some representatives to raise concern. Commemorating 70 years, this is News 13 on My 40. Police departments are starting to see an increase in hiring across the country after years of decline and officers leaving the profession. Head on ABC 12 News at 11, police released body cam showing the moment authorities found a woman living inside of a grocery store sign. You'll hear from that woman straight ahead. Also, a Gratiot County woman is formally charged after being accused of driving into a crowd of people while under the influence. We'll have an update on the condition of those involved. And a live look outside tonight. Severe thunderstorm warnings across parts of mid-Michigan as more strong storms. Look at that lightning on the Sad. way for Tuesday. Star Tracker 12 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Kurtzik has a forecast. ABC 12 News at 11 starts now. Covering Flint, Saginaw, Bay City, and Midland. This is ABC 12 News at 11. 
And we do begin tonight with our Storm Tracker 12 forecast, a line of storms making its way across many mid Michigan communities. That's right, multiple counties seeing severe thunderstorm warnings. All this ahead of a Storm Tracker 12 alert day for. New equipment at your local police station, thanks to a partnership with WLFI. Now, News 18 this morning, how this ball is going to help cops during crisis negotiations. And we are all quiet right now on radar, but looking off to the west, there's our cold front that will be causing some storms late today. Before that, though, a summer-like afternoon. Break down your full Tuesday outlook coming up. News 18 this morning starts now. WLFI Lafayette, news from where you live. Good morning at 6 o'clock on May 21st. I'm Joe Paul. It's going to be a scorcher for you today. Let's check. I'm tracking some showers and thunderstorms in the forecast today, this morning in particular, but severe weather is expected later today. I'm going to have the latest coming up. And also this half hour on daybreak, the warning from the Better Business Bureau about the storms that are moving in and what you should be on the lookout for if the system brings damage to your home. Plus, new this morning on Daybreak, a lightning strike in Wisconsin causing a chimney to explode, igniting a house fire. Plus, as you make those outdoor plans for Memorial Day weekend, be on the lookout for ticks as they are already popping up for the season. That and more right now. From WQOW, this is Eau Claire's own News 18 Daybreak. Good morning and thanks for joining us today. I'm Katie Fernandez. And I'm Sam Freestead. Let's jump right into weather now because... From WXOW, this is Lacrosse's own News 19 Daybreak. This morning on Daybreak, law enforcement will be keeping a close eye on roadways this upcoming holiday weekend, making sure everyone is buckled up for safety. Plus, a big day yesterday for the Catholic Diocese of Lacrosse, ushering in their newest bishop. And this morning starts stormy with more on the way. We're tracking severe potential in your forecast. Good morning, it's 5 a.m. I'm Joe Minnie. And I'm Kyle Weiss. It's Tuesday, May 21st. Good morning, Kyle. It's going to be... We've got you covered. From WSIL, this is News 3 at 6.30. The prosecution rests its case in the historic hush money trial against former President Donald Trump. Happening right now at 6, a structure collapse in McChesney Park. Firefighters assessing the damage after three people were hurt. Who's being called in to investigate? Plus, the Belvedere 100 School District Board meeting tonight to make a big decision on whether to close one of its schools. We'll take a live look into that meeting and what options they're considering if the school does close. And Mayor Tom McNamara discussing what's next for Rockford in his State of the City address. A live look straight ahead. From 13 WREX, your weather authority, this is 13 News at 6. We start tonight with a developing story. Crews are investigating a structure collapse at the new expansion site for the Henning Manufacturing Company. Yeah, this incident. Committed to covering communities across the state line. Live from your weather authority, this is 13 News Today. Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Manny Shilpinan. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Claudia Olak. Although this morning is quiet, it's nice and mild. I'm sure you noticed heading out the door. <laughs> this is a KCCI Storm Team 8 weather alert day. A heartbreaking scene out of Greenfield. A very violent tornado leveling homes and making a huge mess of things. There are confirmed deaths, but official did not, officials did not say how many. Multiple people are also hurt. You can see the scope of the damage from this drone video. Oh, it's so hard to look at that. Mm. There, these were fast moving storms. This is a look at the tornado that took aim at the Adair County seat. KCCI showed you similar scenarios across our state earlier this afternoon. At one point, the entire state was under a tornado watch today. Also earlier today, a tornado snapped wind turbines mm. like toothpicks. You see one broken in half right there. Meteorologist Zane Satchery captured that stunning video while storm chasing in Adams County. You see that cloud of black smoke pluming from the bent structure and the flames there as well. Live from News 7 KWWL, we've got you covered. This is a Storm Track 7 Red Alert Day. Before I went down the basement, I went all around my house and I prayed. Prayed for God to keep. 
keep us safe. Your mind practices what's going on, your body's going to automatically react. It has been a deadly Tuesday in Iowa from tornadoes, 80 mile an hour winds, torrential rainfall and much more. It has been quite a day of intense weather all across our state. From News 7 KWWL, this is breaking news. The scene of devastation there in Greenfield, Iowa. The Iowa State Patrol confirming tonight there are fatalities from tornadoes in Greenfield, as well as several people being injured, Elizabeth. That community is in Adair County. It was very hard hit today. They haven't given an exact number, but the State Patrol did say, however, there were several people killed or injured today in that small Adair community. Tuesday storms leaves behind death and destruction as several tornadoes rip through the Midwest. We have the latest on the damage dealt and where the storms currently are. Then after an uncertain fate, it's a unanimous vote from the village of Roscoe, giving the go-ahead for its Memorial Day parade route this year. What helped them reach an agreement with local veterans? Working for you. This is the 23 News Update at 10. It's an eventful night in the state line after a severe storm swept through the area. This is a live look at just some of the damage left behind in Rockford. This is in the 2600 block of Brandonwood Road, where you can see part of a tree on the road. And much more all around the area. We'll detail that in just a moment. But our chief meteorologist, Mark Henderson, joins us now from the First Alert Weather Center, where it's looking like we aren't in the clear just yet. Tonight at 10, strong storm slammed into Wisconsin tonight. We are breaking down the severe weather that moved into our area and the damage that is left behind. And those storms are still lingering over Madison, but the severe threat is decreasing and we expect a drier day tomorrow. An active night to say the least. Storms continue to push out of the region. We still have a few active severe thunderstorm warnings. I'll let you know when this uh, threat is expected to subside and how the rest of your forecast is shaping up. We've got you covered. This is 27 News at 10. Well, damage is being reported across southern Wisconsin. The videos and pictures next to us were taken by some of you. This is a quick video taken by Mary in Spring Green, and you can see the rain blowing sideways as tree branches are pulled down by those extremely powerful winds. And over in Verona, Alan sent us this video. You can see hail is just coming down. This morning on Daybreak. Here's what you need to know. While storms are now over, the threat of severe weather never is. Stay tuned to find out how you can prepare, prepare, prepare for events like this in the future and the safety tips you need to know ahead of the storm. Plus, Olmstead County is launching a new council to foster inclusion and equity in county services. What you need to know about them and why it's important to give these voices a platform to affect positive change. And after storms yesterday, skies are set to clear at times throughout the day as the cool day. KIMT News 3. Coverage you can count on. This is KIMT News 3's Daybreak, live from our Rochester studio. Good morning, I'm Annalise Johnson. And I'm Ryan Junty. Thank you for watching KIMT News 3's Daybreak. Today is Wednesday, May 22nd. It is 5 o'clock and we are waking up the day after some pretty severe storms. It's heartbreaking. It's tragic. It has to stop. Breaking right now at noon on CBS News, Philadelphia investigators say an employee of a linen company showed up at his workplace this morning with a gun and shot five people, including his supervisor. Two people are dead. The suspected shooter is in custody. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. We've been following this breaking news for you since it started unfolding just before nine this morning. From the station that's on your side, this is Channel 7 News at 10. Well, good evening to you. For a second consecutive day, there have been tornado-warned storms in Arkansas. And Channel 7's Chief Meteorologist Barry Brandt has been working hard to keep you informed. He joins us off the top tonight with where things stand right now. Barry? Chris, it is hard work to just keep up with these storms because waves of them come through. But tonight, it stands... Tonight at 10. Get ready, because more rain is on the way. We had multiple rounds of severe weather today in the Mid-South. We were tracking high winds, heavy rainfall, and hail. Tonight, more rain is expected here in the Mid-South. Have all the details on what you can expect for the next week coming up in my full forecast. 
Also at 10, two men are behind bars tonight, accused of shooting and killing a woman in front of her grandkids in Orange Mound. Tonight, a response from her daughter who witnessed the murder. And a Memphis Foundation supporting organ transplant patients across the country shut down unexpectedly. Two families share how they're now struggling to cover the costs because of the closure. It's 10 o'clock and ABC 24 News at 10 starts right now. Storms packed a punch through the Mid-South today, and the rain isn't over just yet. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Pepper Baker. Weather starts us off tonight. Chief Fox Carolina, the 11 o'clock news starts now with first alert weather. And as we start the 11 o'clock news, the storms have gotten right over Greenville. And I call these storms loosely. We've Covering news where you live. Five News starts with breaking news. It's um, overwhelming. I, um, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's, uh, it's a lot to take in. It's pretty bad. The damage is significant. It was scary. Oh my God, and I can't believe what uh, my eyes saw outside. Lost people and lost homes. And he was getting his shoes on and then the house just started to shake violently. And now there's no trees. It's like it took off the top of the hill. Priority's been checking on our citizens first. We've had some people trapped in their homes. We've had people trapped through the water. Members were calling me trapped inside their boat, couldn't get out. So just kind of overwhelmed with it. I mean, but now it's just get in action, help clean up. I know this is all because y'all know we all family, so I want to help what I can. We are seeing the great humanity of our Kansans. Breaking news tonight in the wake of a deadly tornado outbreak in Arkansas, the governor, U.S. and local officials addressing the public about the damage in Benton County as well as recovery efforts. We'll recap the big takeaways. Why me, Lord? It's terrible this year. We're talking to people impacted by the storms and taking a look at the widespread devastation across different neighborhoods and communities. And we'll take a look at your work week forecast that includes, yes, some sun, but also, unfortunately, more storms. Live, local, late breaking. This is 4029 News at 10. Hey, thanks for joining us. It's been a day where a lot of people spent it cleaning up after violent and deadly storms.